Oh man, absolutely. Just what Kat said, do not miss that performance a little bit later on. It's going to blow your mind. But right now, yes, we're traveling a little bit. And if you feel like a bit of a holiday, we are going to be helping you out this morning. Now with this winter weather, it really is time to take advantage of the winter prices. So go and have a look at what's around our back garden because it really has a lot to offer. This morning, we're taking you all the way to Botswana. Time to get excited as we go travel and we're keeping it on the continent today and rightfully so as Botswana is Lonely Planet's top global country to visit in 2016. What a badge of honour. Now to share his experiences, smiles and adventures and misadventures, we welcome into studio Michael Barfer who's recently returned from Botswana and what seems to have been the trip of a lifetime, judging from the now over 188,000 views his holiday highlights have had online. Michael, awesome to connect Grant's with you, awesome man. Awesome to be here. Thank you very much. Um, you, you had a bit of a chuckle when I said misadventures. Yes. Uh, <laughs> before we get into some of those, those once-in-a-lifetime experiences, let's talk about Botswana as a destination. Every person I've ever spoken to who's been there says it yeah. is magical. Why for you? It is amazing because it's so untouched. It's crazy that you're driving along the freeways and you still see the elephants and wow. all the giraffes cruising across the roads. And I mean, that's not even in national parks. So that is amazing. The culture is amazing. Everyone is willing to help you out, show you the best of the best. And also, like even just doing trade on the side of the road with the, with the fruits, probably the best fruit you'll ever taste. Oh, yeah. and I would imagine you were pretty hungry when you ate it. This is we an were. adventure, man. This is, <laughs> um, and I know your about. life is yeah. an adventure working on the, the ships abroad, yeah. but this is a very different kind of experience. What should people know before they go to Botswana? I mean, going to Botswana, there's so much to do, but a few things to definitely do is Chorbe National Park. It is amazing. The wildlife is in such abundance and it's all close to the river and doing it self-drive is definitely the way forward. There's another area called um, Choir Community Trust, and it is amazing. It's wild. There's hyenas walking through the camp. There's elephants rubbing up against the side of the truck. There's wow. hippos a stone throw away. So it's kind of an adrenaline rush at the same time. And while you're there, hop in a Makoro boat. It's like a dugout canoe, and the locals take you down the river. It's it's unbelievable. It's mind-blowing. I'm beginning to understand why people identify with you and this trip particularly because you took so much on board yourself. Is yeah. it important to you to taste the culture, to experience it, to take a bit of that home with you? It is. Get involved in the culture because if, if not, you know, you're not really in, engaging in the country and the culture there, it's so diverse and crazy. It's, it's awesome. It's something everyone should experience. At the moment, we are rather limited in our destinations because of the RAND and the exchange yeah. rate at the moment. Financially, how much do we need to prepare? What do we need to take into account? The RAND can get you pretty far. Um, a lot of the Great. places to the campsites accept US dollars, but even at the borders, you can pay for visas and RANDs, and the RAND gets you a long way. And even trading something like a cool drink can get you a long way buying fresh produce. Um, did you trade your shoes for fruit is what I want to know. I might have, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, was I love you would have noticed. <laughs> um, so we, we do know that you are obviously undertaking an adventure when you yeah. take a trip like this. It's not just about going to experience the game, but actually experience life on a different yeah. level. If you could leave us with one travel gem, one thing that you learned or something that we should certainly know before going to Botswana, what would that be? Um, one of the things, definitely take your own fresh water. You don't uh, want to be caught out by you know, having a little bit of tummy bug there, or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but other than that, slow down. Don't rush it. Uh, take as many photos as you can. Capture every moment. But also be sure to look up and just take it all in because it's something you'll definitely want to go back to. Oh, I love that, yeah. man. Take a moment and look up, dude. Congratulations awesome. on a stellar trip and well done for putting together the highlights reel. I mean, that yeah. really, really does give us the chance to live it with you. Yeah, so no, exactly. thank you for that, man. Awesome. Oh, thank you, Michael, for joining us this morning. And Botswana definitely sounds like it should be on the top of all of our Africa travel bucket list from here on out. And I think if any of you are feeling the same way and wanting to explore this incredible slice of heaven, we are giving away five copies of an incredible travel book. This is Botswana. It's got beautiful pictures from Daryl and Shauna Balfour, an insightful text by Peter Joyce. Really does take you there. All you need to do is SMS the keyword Botswana, obviously, and your name and city to 33728. And you can find all of the terms and conditions on our expressoshow.com website.